This is an ICP OES, which means inductively coupled plasma optical emission spectrometer. It is uh, basically it's in two parts. We have the inductively coupled plasma and the optical emission spectrometer. And what happens is a sample is introduced with a peristaltic pump into a nebulizer and then into a torch. So the, the nebulizer turns the sample into tiny droplets, like a mist, and um, a, a portion of the sample, and some goes down the drain, and the sample is, goes into an argon plasma, which is a very, very hot argon, ionized argon plasma, which is 7,000 7, to 10,000 degrees C. The plasma is contained in this torch in here, and there's a coil around that. That produces the radio frequency that causes the argon to ignite and produce a, the plasma. The sample goes into the plasma, and the hot plasma atomizes the molecules and uh, excites them to a, a higher state. When the excited atoms fall back down to the ground state, they emit light, which is characteristic of the metal. So each metal has its own emission line, or several emission lines. And it, they're usually separated. If they're very close together or overlap, we can choose a different line because they, um, they emit at very many different wavelengths. So the, after it goes into the plasma and this light is emitted, the light goes through some lenses and into the OES, which is the spectrometer. The different wavelengths of light are all separated by prisms and gratings so that um, all we can tell which wavelength is which when they hit the detector, which is at the end here. And the detector um, can measure the light, and from that intensity of the light, we can tell how much of each metal is there, and from the wavelength, we can tell which metal it is. So after you do your sample preparation, you want to get your samples into the ICP. So we have a sampler here. You put your samples in a test tube and uh, load it onto the sampler. And this sampler has a probe in it that will go to each of these tubes and get some sample. It has a peristaltic pump. So it'll pump the sample through this tubing. This is the pump and into the nebulizer. And the nebulizer is the place where your sample gets turned into a fine mist so that it can be introduced into the torch. The sample goes into the torch. The wavelengths from the different metals are emitted. It goes into the spectrometer, onto the detector, and then the information from that goes to our data system. This is the information that we get from the spectrometer. You can see that we have st some standard curves, and there's one for each metal that we're interested in, and we have the, the signals showing each, each metal and the wavelength. So if you look at calcium here, at 317.933 nanometers, we get a signal and the intensity of that signal is proportional to the concentration of calcium in the sample. So we compare that intensity to our standard curve and calculate the concentration of calcium in the sample, et cetera, for all the metals that are on there. And we can print out a report that shows us how much of each one of those metals is in the sample.